think you can agree with me when I say that there are so many engineering students who absolutely hate, and I mean hate engineering. It's too many assignments, too much math. Like, bro, why are you complaining? This is literally what you signed up for. Now I can sit here and rant all day, but I'd rather preach passion because the truth is that engineering is the only career that can solve the unforeseen scary and dangerous problems that this world has yet to face. Climate change, planetary safety, energy sustainability, water scarcity, etc, etc. And you are an engineer of tomorrow who will have to solve those problems. But will you be able to solve those problems if you stay with this miserable mindset of yours? I don't think so. So just listen to the lessons that I'm about to tell you, starting with admiration of engineering. Two weeks ago from today, I was flying to my parents' place to celebrate Christmas with them. And I couldn't help but look out the window the entire 90 minutes of the flight. Not to look at the earth, not to look at the sunset, but to look at this airplane, this beautiful feat of engineering that humanity has accomplished, that engineers who have come before us has accomplished. I started looking at their wings, then I started looking at the, the engine, and then I went to as narrow as the nails. And I just thought for a second of how much detail, how much attention to detail the engineers who designed this airplane had to put into it. And I thought about it, I was like, there's probably like a million nails, like not even exaggerating, a million nails on this entire aircraft, right? Or a million fasteners at least. And among those fasteners, they had to put so much detail into the weight probably. Now just for visual sake and just to imagine it, imagine that this is a fastener on that airplane and there are a million of these fasteners as I said, right? Now imagine snipping off one gram off of each of those fasteners. One gram, you might think, oh, that's not a lot, but times that by one million, you get a thousand kilograms, a thousand kilograms. And imagine how much money that would save in terms of uh, jet fuel. Think about that. And you know, this might seem off topic, but the reason that I'm saying this is because there is so much attention to detail. It is so freaking amazing how much detail engineers put into their work. And this was just one case that I had in just a random thought while I was just on a random airplane ride. And people don't acknowledge this, you know? Not even engineering students acknowledge this. Not even engineers acknowledge this sometimes. But if you can acknowledge this, if you can just appreciate how much work gets put into uh, the work of engineers, then wouldn't that develop your passion even further than it is right now? Wouldn't that give you much more appreciation to become an engineering student and later become an engineer? An engineer who will also replicate the attention to detail that the engineers who have come before us have done. And you know, it might sound like I'm yapping at this point, but what I'm trying to say here is to just appreciate the engineering works around you. Appreciate the hard work that the engineers who have come before us have put into the works around you. Like this microphone. Imagine how much the hardware engineers or electronics engineers had to put into this. Imagine how much uh, overtime hours they put into designing this single microphone. Imagine how much overtime hours the structural engineers put into making this building that I'm living in right now. Imagine the control systems engineers who had to work super hard and study super hard to understand control systems to make sure that I'm warm right now and to perfect the HVAC system of this building and of this room. Look around you. What do you see that's amazing about engineers? You might see a wall, a random wall, whatever, right? But that wall, someone had to put a bunch of attention to detail into the material science engineering of it. The paint even. There were engineers who worked overtime to perfect the paint of that wall. That's not just a boring, <laughs> I sound crazy right now, but this wall is freaking amazing, dude. Engineering itself is so freaking amazing to me, which is why I literally cannot fathom why there are engineering students out there that are not passionate about what they're studying. The reason that I looked out the airplane for 90 minutes that entire flight was not because I was passionate about aerospace or anything. I'm not even, I'm not even interested in going to the aerospace engineering industry. But the reason that I looked outside and enjoyed uh, looking at the wing the entire <laughs> flight was because I was appreciative of the work of the engineers who achieved what once seemed impossible. So the main lesson, just to emphasize it, is just be present. Be present whether you're on a walk or you're studying in a room. Just appreciate what's around you. Appreciate the, the lamppost above your head. 
the electrical engineers and the materials engineers who had to put so much detail into it. Or you're in a um, lecture hall. Appreciate the HVAC engineers and the control system engineers who are keeping you warm. Appreciate the engineers who built the world into what it is today. Because when you appreciate that, you then realize that they actually paved a path for you. For freaking you, man. And then you're, you're not appreciating it. They paved this path for you to walk along. And then you're just miserable. So choose to be passionate. Choose to be in the present moment and appreciate engineering itself. Lesson two, build projects. I started building my own personal projects around the summer of 2024. So it's been, it's been quite a while that I've been doing this. I started off simple by making CAD models and then I started uh, 3D printing mechanisms, 3D printing models of machinery, which I modeled. And then I was even designing my own work, which implemented the theoretical knowledge from my classes, uh, from fluid mechanics classes, my kinematics mechanism classes, and even the stress principles from my um, design of machinery classes. I enjoyed it so much. I was having so much fun during this time that I decided that I would um, document my projects on a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel separate from this video that you're watching this on right now. And just look at me. Look how, look how passionate I was about this. Look how much I was enjoying engineering on my own. And I wasn't even doing like professionally. I wasn't even working in an internship. I was just doing this myself using a 3D printer and using the uh, student edition SolidWorks that the university gave to me. Look at how happy I was and look how much I was enjoying it. This is the enjoyment that the perfect report card that you strive for couldn't provide to you. So why don't you make these projects? If you have all the tools, if the university provides you all the softwares, why don't you? I know the excuse. It's because you don't have time. And why don't you have time? It's because you're trying to uh, succeed in your classes. And why are you trying to succeed in your classes? So you get a perfect report card. But what does a perfect report card get for you? What does it do for you? Does it actually develop your career? No, because look at any job posting. They're not looking for someone with a 4.0 perfect GPA, are they? Does a perfect report card make you more passionate? I don't think so, right? Because you're pulling up all nighters, you're staying up all night, losing sleep, losing your life energy. I don't think that's really building your passion. So why are you spending so much time trying to perfect your report card? Spending so much time trying to finish this last question of the assignment that's worth like 0.5% of your grade. You know, you're probably speechless right now. I don't blame you. I had that same mindset before, but that was before I started making these projects. But the main thing that your obsession for a perfect report card is doing is taking away time for uh, for making projects like the ones that I made. And you know, you might have other excuses like, oh, you're a mechanical engineer. It's easy to make projects for you. You just use SolidWorks and then 3D print them. But you can make other projects, you know. You can make Gantt projects. You can make um, Raspberry Pi projects. You can make Arduino projects. You can make so many other projects using fucking MATLAB, Python, C++, anything. Whatever type of engineer you want to be, you can make any project. And if you still don't know which projects to make, just click the link in the description. That's the program where I teach you how to make projects. And there's a community in there with other engineers so that you could collaborate even if you want to. A community of like-minded engineering students like us. How fucking sick is that? Go check it out. Go check it out right now. Projects are literally the baseline level of all engineering experience, okay? The, the first piece of experience is not the internship that you get, but it's the projects because the projects help you get that internship like look at me for example listen i had no connections in the engineering industry i had no industrial experience in the engineering industry i had no research experience with professors i had no design club experience yeah i know crazy and i even didn't join the co-op program in my university but the reason that i secured an internship and within two weeks by the way when it takes people months the reason that i secured that internship was because i only had projects how fucking powerful is that is that not insane? Just think about that. Projects are an absolute cheat code to developing your career while you're only an engineering student. You know how people have those excuses of like, oh, you need experience to get experience in the engineering industry. And that's such bullshit. You don't need internships to start building your experience. Projects is what starts your experience. So get started right now. I'm not going to say it again because we're on to our next lesson, which is heroism. Engineering is the most heroic degree. I 100% stand by that. You can't change my mind. And it's not like I disrespect all the other careers out there. All careers are important in this planet. But I'm saying that engineering 
is the only degree, only career that can solve the large scale problems that this world has yet to face. You know, you might argue like, yeah, the police, they're the most heroic, but they use cars, they use walkie talkies, they use uh, bulletproof vests, they use weapons. And who developed those tools that they depend on? It's engineers. And then there's doctors. You might argue that they're the most heroic. And yeah, they're heroic. Police and doctors, of course, they're heroic. But they use engineered tools. Tools that were developed by engineers. The mask, their clothes, the and syringe, all of these other things. I don't know the names to doctor tools, okay? Engineers develop the tools that everyone, everyone use nowadays. The world depends on engineered work. Now disclaimer again, I'm not just, I'm not shitting on all of the other careers out there. Of course, I'm 100% grateful for the police. I'm 100% grateful for the doctors that keep us safe and all of these other uh, careers out there that um, make me safe and make you safe. We should always be grateful for them. But I'm just saying that engineers, they, they lack recognition, you know? And, the, and because they lack recognition, engineering students of the modern day, they don't really get the maximum fulfillment that one could get. The lack of recognition is the reason, is part of the reason that a lot of engineering students are miserable and don't have passion. And that's why I have to make this video. So that I could say that engineers are literal unsung heroes of society. If aliens were to attack right now, who would you call? Would you call the police? No. Engineers are the only one who applies science. And what's the science? Science is literally seen as magic by some people in the olden days, right? And engineers, by the olden days profession, they apply magic or what we say in the modern day, apply science. We're the ones who will defend um, the large scale problems. We're the ones who is exploring and pioneering outer space so that we could detect a meteor coming from a billion miles away. We're the ones developing sustainable forms of energy which is gonna help combat climate change. We're the ones helping with water scarcity, air pollution, all of the problems that this world is endangered by. We are the engineers of tomorrow who will have to face those problems, those scary, unforeseen problems that I just mentioned. And if you don't have the passion, if you don't have the drive, the literal fire in your heart for engineering, how do you expect to solve those problems? The world is going to depend on you in the future, okay? And you need to maximize this time you have as an engineering student, which is why I made the program once again, so that I could help you. I could help you one-on-one. -on -one. I literally have calls inside of that program, which is something that I didn't mention before but it's a huge perk to being part of the program. So I really, really hope to see you inside. I really hope that we could form a community of the strongest minded engineers who watch this type of content on my channel. Like you who's still watching this video. Honestly, props to you, props to you, man, honestly. Because like all of your other peers, are they watching more engineering content or are they scrolling on TikTok? What are they doing? They're not doing this type of, um, time spending like you are right now watching more engineering content because you are passionate i appreciate you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one